Hello everyone and welcome back. Um, I'm, so I wasn't sure about vlogging this if I'm being honest. Um, so I know a lot of you, if you followed me from the start, know that I do vlogs as well as reactions and I like to keep them in the same place. Um, and a lot of you, if you've watched bef like a lot of videos before, like before like all the reaction videos, like I have been complaining about a lot of like lower abdominal pain for quite a while um so i finally have booked an appointment again because i did make one before and they kept saying oh it's your ibs blah 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 um which i don't think it is so i thought i'd vlog it in case i actually get results and we can go along the process together just in case something you know good comes out of it i guess Oh my gosh, sorry, my hair is a mess. I was cold, so I put my hoodie on. I am dressed. Um, so yeah, like, I have been getting it for quite a while. Um, just like, right about here and quite like lower down. Um, it's really not been fun at all. Like, it's been really painful. And um, Greg was like, who, if you, those of you who don't know, he's my um fiance. He was saying, like, thinking that it's maybe, oh, for goodness sake, it's maybe endometriosis. Um, so I was like, because he was watching something on the TV about it when it was endometriosis month. So I was like, okay. Um, and then one of the things he said was like, the pill masks the pain, or like masks the symptoms, not the pain, masks the symptoms of it. So I was like, should I come off of it? And he's like, well, it's up to you. It's like your body, like you're taking the, this. So like, it's up to you. So when I had my, like my last break, I just decided to um come off of it. Sorry, I'm really not happy with the angle of my face. Sorry. Um, Yeah, so I just decided to come off of it. I didn't consult a doctor. So that's maybe not a good thing. But just with the pandemic and stuff, like I didn't really want to like bother them with something that seemed so small for me so I was like you know what I'll just come off of it um and we'll see how we go from there and coming off the pill has been a very um interesting experience so far um I came off like I took the break like quite a few weeks ago yeah I would say about yeah, a week, like two weeks ago. Um, and honestly, because like when I was on the pill, like for like, I did get a lot of like intense pain and like really bad cramps on my, like my fake period. Um, like with it, but like it would be very like hit or miss. Like one month I'd get like extreme pain and then the next month I'd have like no pain or like very little pain with like the cramps for that period. But then after the period, like the actual menstrual cycle like I would get intense pain on my left side and it's mainly been my left side um and it's just been like really intense and like stabby pain um so yeah I it's not been fun so since coming off of it it's become worse because I just wanted to see what would happen like maybe it would go away like maybe it's something related to the pill like maybe you know, I need to change it or something like that. But I thought the only way I'm going to know is if I come off of it and see if it's like a pill problem or a body problem, like there's something going on. So yeah, like I came off of it and yeah, I've been in pain ever since. Like I had the worst cramps on that break. Like honestly, like I had to work then and I was like on tills and I was like having to stand and I'm like almost in tears because well, I think I did pretty much cry at one point that day, but like on the tills, obviously you can't cry. And I was like, <sighs> like I had to like keep trying to breathe and it was so hot and work. And then like having the mask on, it was just not a good combination. And then obviously after that, I've just been in pain like intensely ever since. And I feel like it's just keep continuing to get worse. So I'm like, oh great. Like have, is, was it a good idea to come off of it? Like, I don't know. So this is why I got an appointment today which is the 14th of June 
and I'm going to see what happens. This might never come out. This might be footage that, you know, is just kept for me because some, nothing might happen or they might just tell me it's something like really simple. Um, but I'm starting to get concerned because now my right side is hurting too. And I'm kind of scared in case it is endometriosis because like it just, yeah, like it doesn't sound fun. But if it is or if it's anything else, um, at least I can then share that with you guys and, you know, like, give people advice on whatever it is and like you know if anyone else is going through something similar they know like it's probably best you know like well the process and like probably best to see a doctor because I kept brushing it off and being like oh like it's probably fine it's probably nothing but like I'm really bad for getting like really anxious about phoning the doctors and stuff um and I feel always get really anxious and feel bad about like overwhelming like well not overwhelming them but like going for things that they're like it's not there's nothing wrong with you and I'm like I've wasted their time and then I feel like incredible amounts of guilt for like wasting their time and obviously I don't want to waste anyone's time especially like doctors especially not now um so yeah I'm rambling now so yeah like this is a really long intro if this does become a vlog so I'm going to get a phone call at half past four well between half past four and half past five today um and we'll go from there um and hopefully they don't just pam it off to ibs because my actual ibs if it is ibs has been like way better since i became vegan because the dairy aspect was what was actually bothering me and they have lactase or lactose i can't remember if it's lactase but it's think that's pretty much from dairy was in the IBS medication I was on so it was causing me problems in the longer run as well so it's just been a, a great all time over this way um so yeah um we'll see how it goes I don't know if they'll do any extra tests or anything but if they do I'll keep you guys posted so yeah see you soon with any new information so it's later on and I just had my phone call appointment with the doctor the doctor that actually I had was so so good like so lovely um, I'm sure I've seen her before and she was just so great so shout out to that doctor yeah so I explained to her you know I have like complained about the pain before and how it kind of got put down to IBS and then I also explained how you know by cutting out dairy and that my bills have been so much better blah 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 and you know just walked her through like the whole process of like the pain and everything and she was like I'm wondering if it could be endometriosis which Greg thought it would be um so she is booking me in to get an ultrasound um of my womb just to so they can actually see what's going on there and like what's causing the pain and then she even said, like, you know, even if that came back negative, we'll, like, refer you to, like, the gynecologist so that they can, you know, keep an eye on things or go from there. And I have to go back on the pill, sadly. Um, I never fully got to figure out what my body was like without it. But that's okay, because the pain today has been awful. I ended up going on, like, for a full-on nap because the pain was so bad. I just had to, like, lie down. Um... So yeah, I should get the appointment or whatever through the mail. Um, because obviously I explained to her like I don't didn't want to bother anyone because of COVID. Like there's so much going on right now. I felt like it was a bit of an inconvenience for me to phone and be like, "Hi, I want to come off the pill. Like, can you advise me?" Blah blah blah. Like, I'm just really mindful of things like that. I suppose. Um, but yeah. So going back on the pill, she also said not to take a break to see if that helps with the pain because it seems to get worse when I come like take the break so maybe my emotions will like even out a bit more again because since coming off of it my emotions have been like everywhere like up down left right you name it has been everywhere like spent the whole morning crying at nothing but to be honest that is kind of like me anyway apparently like on the pill so I don't know um but yeah, so just got to wait and see what happens there and we'll continue the vlog along the way. <laughs> 
so yeah i'm quite um apprehensive um although i'm not as shocked just because greg you know was saying how he thinks it is and then like his mum has endometriosis so like i was talking to her about it like if in case it was that and she's like she had a pain on her left side too and i was like oh my god so i have been having conversations about it so I've been fo and I have been following Erin Barnett, you know, the one who was on Australian Love Island. Like I've been following her since then. And, you know, like we've sort like I've not like she's never responded to like a DM because I know she's busy, but like she always like likes my comments, stuff like that. And it's always like, oh my god, she's just so lovely. But Erin has been so open about endometriosis and like her struggle with it. And, you know, like there has been points where she's posted something I've been like, hmm. That sounds like it could be me, but I don't know. And obviously, I don't want to just assume that I have something. Like, obviously, I'd be like, okay, I think I have it. Speak to a doctor because that's probably the best thing to do. And that's what I've done. So, yeah, like, and Erin's stuff is, like, so, like, informative and, like, really helpful um, for anyone else that's, like, going through something like that. Um, So, yeah, I just got to wait now um for that appointment and to see what the results are from that and fingers crossed like everything will be okay I guess like in some ways because obviously endometriosis can stop you from having children but there is a, obviously there's people who have it and they can still go on to have kids can make it more difficult it's a whole situation but I think the vlog thing is good for me personally so that I can like get my thoughts and feelings out and talk to you guys and help hopefully help someone along the way if they're going through it and they're not sure of what's going on with them and like the process. Um, but yeah, I'm just like so grateful that a lot of the doctors at the doctor surgery where I live, like they're so good and they're really good at listening to you. Um, there is the odd occasion, like maybe they're not because like it's busy. Okay, something just felt or whatever and like they're human after all but like they're so good at listening to you and like actually like taking you seriously and wanting to get you tested for things um so yes <sighs> fingers crossed it's not too much of a wait but I understand it could be because of covid but it just depends on you know the whole situation like on how things are with the hospitals at the moment because I know that obviously with covid things are a lot backlogged and stuff like that so we just have to wait and see how long it takes but I'll vlog along the way and yeah I'm so sorry that I look such a mess I hadn't had time this morning to put dry shampoo in my hair to take my sister to school and I don't have the greatest lighting so I look fabulous but yeah um I'm gonna go now and I'll see you guys again once I get the appointment and have more information Hello everyone, I look a mess as usual, so apologies for that, my hair is literally everywhere, I'm actually back from work, um, not that long ago, um, it is currently the 3rd of July, I don't know why I said it like that, but yeah we made it to July, I have a new ring light so there's extra light up in here, maybe that's not such a good thing when I look a bit like this, but you know, so it's the 3rd of July, I still haven't heard anything yet, obviously, because it takes a while. Um, I'm really hoping that I can hear something back soon because I just kind of want to get it over and done with. But I know that the NHS is like really overwhelmed still, uh, kind of with COVID a little bit. So yeah, please do apologise the mask me that's going on here. It's like actually not too bad on camera but oh my gosh your real life is so bad but yeah so since I put added to this the vlog before um I had to take a day off work because the pain was so bad like so bad um I ended up getting like really upset because of how painful it was um and the manager that I got on the phone to phone about it wasn't really the greatest when it came to that at all. Um, so that wasn't very good. Um, but yeah, like I wish in a sense that I picked up the camera and was like, oh my God, like this is what the pain's like, blah, blah, blah. But 
when you're in pain you don't really think about like I'm gonna pick up a camera like this is gonna be great kind of thing so yeah today I've not had a very good day with pain um, I actually have a heat pad on that I could probably show you without getting like into trouble I mean it's just here it's just oh gosh you can't even see it it's just like a white pad it kind of looks like a pad that you wear when you're on your period but it like heats you up so hopefully I won't get demonetized for that um I'll double check though if not I'll cut it out um but yeah so I was in a lot of pain today I took ibuprofen and put on a heat pad because it kept getting like stopping me in my tracks because of how painful it was so I was just like yeah gotta bring out the big guns like the actual heat pad worked more than the ibuprofen like the ibuprofen just does not work for me at all Um, I have noticed though that since being back on the pill and it actually been in my system properly now that it kind of has made the pain a bit less like by a little bit or you know like I don't get pain as much like fre as frequently as I was getting it when I wasn't on the pill um so yeah I'm just plodding along patiently waiting for this appointment um I'm quite nervous though because I don't know like it's what it's kind of going on around in my head like well what if it's not that like what could it be or like what can they do from there so I'm kind of just hoping to get it over and done with and sorted because it's not fun being in pain for ages but I just thought I'd come and update the vlog um just give you a little update that I'm still in pain and I still haven't heard anything but it was it wasn't that long ago that I actually phoned the doctors and got an appointment and they referred me from then so it'll probably still take a while longer oh, sorry especially because of covid like things are probably just taking a lot longer as well um so that sucks a lot but yeah just thought i'd give you guys a little update since it's been a couple of weeks since i posted and like added to the vlog so I'll come back with any other info. Oh, also before I go, I left it on the bed, but the heat pads that I have are called Cura Heat. And oh my gosh, they're like the best thing ever. They literally, this is not sponsored at all. Like it's not an ad. This is just me giving you guys like an honest, like review of something. Um, I don't know, review, recommendation. I don't know, same thing kind of in a way. But um, yeah, like they're called Cure Heat and the heat pads can be for period pain, pain in that area um, and it's been warm like all day. Like it says that it's warm for 12 hours, which so far so good. Like it's still warm right now. I can still feel the heat. Um, I don't think it helped that work was really, really warm today as well. And I had this on and I could just feel the heat going everywhere and I was just like, Maybe that's not what we were looking for. But yes, I am going to go now. I'm going to try and relax before I have to go back to work tomorrow and then again on Monday because it's a bank holiday. Um, I don't know if it's actually a proper bank holiday or if it's just a made up work bank holiday. I think it may be the second one, but you know, either way, I've got to do that. So, and I actually have some more plans this week. So that is exciting and things to look forward to and let's just hope I'm not in pain. Hello everyone, I am returning to the vlog. It is currently Monday the 2nd of August and guess who just got an NHS letter through the door? That would be me! Oh man, I'm so excited. I've never been this excited to res receive a letter to go to the hospital before but I finally have my appointment for my scan, um, my ultrasound scan. Um, which is Wednesday the 18th of August, which is 16 days from now. Um, so yeah, I am really excited to go because I haven't vlogged since the first time I had the pain. Um, but I was in pain for like a whole week 
of just constant lower abdominal pain and it was just very very painful and like nothing was working like heat pads were making it worse ibuprofen wasn't working at all like it was just so awful and I'm worried this week because la that week there I was walking a lot so and I noticed that walking a lot and things triggers the pain so I'm just gonna cross my fingers and hope that it hasn't triggered the pain this week like I was in a bit of pain yesterday with it and it wasn't fun but I'm praying that it'll be okay for this week but I'm really excited I'm gonna be getting this ultrasound going to the department of clinical radiology so basically the x-ray department um which i'm so i honestly i know this sounds really sad but i've literally never been this excited to go to the hospital um and i, I was thinking of doing this in like parts so the journey of me getting this appointment to then the next part because it'd be good to get this parts of this vlog out for sure so cross my fingers I ramble on too much <laughs> at the moment I'm really sorry but yeah fingers crossed and then it will take seven to ten days to find out my results from that but the most likely outcome is that if they don't find anything that's not endometriosis but they think but they find something that is shows that it could be endometriosis the probable outcome is most likely to be surgery i'm sure because i'm pretty sure they said that someone else has said that like if it is endometriosis the only way that they can diagnose it is if you have surgery so i've never had an operation in my life so i'm a bit nervous for that if that if that happens but we can't think of the what ifs right now i'm just trying to focus on the here and now and actually start to figure out what's going on with me so Yes, we are going in the right direction and I will return to the vlog on my appointment day. Well, after the appointment or whatever. But yes, I will see you guys soon.